everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be going through 10 different ways for how you can make money as an artist. Before we start, I have got prints available of this Fox watercolour piece available over on my online store at kirstypartridge.com and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And also all the materials that I'm using will also be listed in the description as well if you want to check them out. Anyway, let's get straight on with today's video with the first way to make money. So the first way is the most common way, probably the most obvious way, which is just to sell your original art. But there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can either sell your original art online or through galleries. And there are positives to both of these options. So with galleries, you'll be having it in an established place. A lot of people will probably go in there. But a con is that they do take quite a high percentage of the money. So it can be up to 50% commission. And nowadays it becomes a lot easier to sell it online through lots of places like Etsy or eBay or even your online store. If you have less of a following, then the best possible ways to go through are Etsy or something like eBay where it's more of a larger name brand. But if you've got quite a big following, then you can do it through your online store because you'll be able to get people to go there. But if you haven't got a large following and you need somewhere where you can easily be discovered, then something like Etsy is a great way to go to sell your original art. So the second way is related to that, which is to sell prints. So if you make a piece of art, you want to make the most possible kind of money and uh, profit out of that piece. And if you sell prints, this is a way to continue making money from that piece of art for an indefinite amount of time. So once you sell the original piece, that's it. But you can make lots of prints. You can make limited edition prints or you could just sell prints where it isn't limited edition so you can just keep selling them. And again, you can do this in a few different ways. You can either make the print yourself or you can outsource it to a printing shop or you can even just upload your photos to something like Redbubble or a few other places like Fine Art America. And all you have to do is upload the photo and they'll print it onto lots of things like art prints or mugs and t-shirts. And so that's a really easy way and they handle all the shipping. So that's a great way that you can get another passive source of income from your artwork. Okay, straight on to number three, which is optimizing social media. So in today's kind of society, social media is really, really important for artists. You need to be building up a following and an audience and people that will want to buy your artwork. So things like Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, and even YouTube, creating a following on that is going to be a great way to get an audience which will later go and buy your artwork. Also, it means that if you build up a following on social media, then you're more desirable to certain brands. So you can get things like sponsorships or brand deals because you'll have companies that are interested in working with you because you have got an audience that their product kind of suits. So you can get sponsorships and brand deals through building up a social media following. Okay, so the fourth method is doing commissions. So instead of creating an original piece of artwork and then trying to sell it, actually have a client where they'll tell you what they want and then you create a commission for them. So this can normally be like a portrait of a family portrait or a specific occasion, or it could be something like a pet portrait where they want their pet drawing, their dog, their cat, whatever like that. And that's a really good option because people like to keep memories and have a personal sort of drawing. So if you book commissions, this is a great way to be able to know that your artwork will definitely sell because sometimes when you make original artwork it's hard to know whether it will sell but if you're doing a commission you know that you're going to get paid for that work. So the fifth way you can get money is through a YouTube channel. So this isn't for everyone, but if you wanna go down this road of creating art videos or teaching your skills and your specialist sort of area in art, then creating a YouTube channel is a great way to get some more passive income. So when you create a videos, as you'll see, there'll be ads on those videos. And those ads basically is how the YouTuber gets money. So a large portion of my income is through my YouTube channel. And so it's a great way to get money for your views and for the time you put in to create 
really valuable resources online. And it's another great way for how you can build up a following and an audience that will also want to do things like buy your artwork, buy your prints or commission you. And it's also a great way to kind of entice brand deals and people that want you to review products for them. And obviously you should still not just take any old deal that comes your way, but it means that you have more opportunities and you'll have more exposure. So you'll have people that can come up to you. So for example, through my YouTube channel, I had someone spot me that wanted me to do an art course for them. So you have a lot more opportunities if you're more visible on the online world. Okay, so the sixth method is through Patreon. So this is really useful if you already have an established following. It's not so useful if you have no one that's following you because it relies on your supporters to go over to your Patreon and kind of subscribe to you on a monthly basis and kind of pledge to you. So Patreon is a great way of getting support whilst giving them extra rewards as well. I just started up my own Patreon and I have found that it's been really successful. You'll be surprised at how many people want to support what you do, especially if you're giving back to them and you're creating value and entertainment for them. So Patreon is a great way to get kind of a stable online income monthly and it's just a really stable way because with YouTube it can be a bit unpredictable, it fluctuates a bit from month to month but Patreon is another great passive income that you still have to do work for but it's another great stable way to get money every month. Okay, number seven is creating a product. So like an ebook, an art course, or anything like that. So, or a normal art book. So it's where you create a product and then you have this tangible product that you can go and sell in your videos or on your social media, or just putting it up on Amazon. So if it's an ebook, you could just put it on Amazon and people can come and buy it that way. So if you have a specialist skill or you like a certain topic of art and you're quite knowledgeable about it, then you can create something like an art course or a book and then you have something that you can sell and you can get a lot of profit from. And again, it's something that you can sell indefinitely. So it's another passive form of income. So number eight is affiliations. So with me, I, ha I use a lot of materials and I'm always recommending them. And for a few years, all I was doing is just saying what I use, but then I found that you can do something called affiliation. So I get all my products from Amazon and I love Amazon. I honestly get everything from Amazon and I was just telling people and linking them to the website. But I found that you could actually make some money yourself through commissions when you link people to your website. They don't have to pay any more or anything. They get the same price but a bit of the money that Amazon makes, they give to you for kind of recommending their stuff. So you're just getting a bit of money in return for something that you were already doing. So this again is a great form of income. It's only something like four or 5%, but it really adds up. So the ninth way is through conventions or competitions or art fairs. And this depends on where you live. These things might be more available to you, but people sell a lot of prints and stuff at conventions. So that's another great way. And finally, the 10th method is through live streaming and donations. So live streaming, especially something on Twitch, you can get a lot of donations through live streaming. And I've not personally done it myself, but I've heard a lot of people make it a great kind of way to get a bit more extra income. It's not going to be the most income that you're going to make. It's just going to be a small amount, but it's definitely worth doing because it all sorts of adds up. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I just threw a lot of information at you, but I hope you found it useful and you've learned a few new methods that you hadn't thought about before. I will link all the methods in the description below so that you can kind of recap and check them out again. And let me know if you want me to do another video where I talk about some of these methods in a bit more detail, because I'll definitely do that for you guys, because this was just kind of an overview. But if you want to hear more detail, then I'll happily do that for you guys as well. Also, let me know what other videos you'd like to see, what other topics you want me to discuss. And remember that I've got prints and the original available of this watercolor fox over on my online store. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel and you wanna hear new art topics and tutorials every single week, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that bell icon. And also, if you wanna follow me on the social media sites, then make sure you check out the description because I've got them all linked there. 
Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.